So if you're like me and you hate creating materials, but you need materials, this video is going to be all about where to find materials so you don't really have to make it. Now these are going to be both paid and free. If you kind of want to jump around, just click down below in the chapters. Come with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> So one of the key things that I've got enabled is Node Wrangler. This is, helps me create materials. So edit, preferences, Node, and then you've got Node Wrangler. Put a tick there and I'll show you how to use it. So the first add-on we're gonna be talking about is Extreme PBR Combo. Love this add-on and I abuse it to the nth degree. Now the primary reason why I use this one so much is because I like to work with Unreal Engine and Omniverse. And so I need to get the materials I create straight out. Now, for those of you who have been following along, you know how to export um, FBXs or OBJs, but let's have a look at this add-on. So if I open up Extreme PBR Combo and we click on Shader Maker, you can see that we've got this massive list of materials. So for instance, if I want metal, I'm just gonna pick something random, uh, this one here, and then we can hit, uh, let's remove that one and add new. It creates us very quickly a metal. Now there's plenty of controls down here as well that we can do, not that button, material editor, where we can actually change the metallicness and blah, 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 and go into depth. However, I don't use this material setup. I mainly use it because it comes with a texture set. So if I delete all that, let's create a new material. And so if I kind of come back here and have a look, we know that this is metal 12 and it's in the metal folder. So what I can come do, what I can do is come into metal and I know that it's metal 12, which is this one. So if I double click on that, I can control C that file path with Node Wrangler enabled, select it, control, shift T for Tom, go to that directory, diffuse metal normal roughness, and we can go principal texture setup. And now that's set up. Uh, all the textures directly mapped onto this cube. So now when we go to export it straight to Unreal Engine or Omniverse or even the dreaded scum bucket Unity, we know that it's just everything's gonna come across and just work. So the next add-on we're looking at is Modular Metals by Curtis Holt. This one has a lot more node information, so if you wanna actually build your materials, if we kind of zoom out, we can see that we've just got this massive, just a bunch of stuff. That we can um, that we can go through and set up. So, for instance, we've got this gun metal. I'm just going to click and drag that over here into the material output, and then obviously we can come in here and start changing the details, blah blah blah, and qua 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 qua. So there's kind of like that one. Let's pick another random one. Metal building nose. What's this? Brushed metal. Sure. Let's put some brushed metal on there, and we will go get stuffed. Let's put that in our uh, gun metal. Do we have a roughness? That is a great example. You donkey, yes, there is roughness. So we could throw that one into the roughness there. Oh, uh, brushed metal, interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, right. Hmm. Uh, and then throw some copper on there. <laughs> Corroded copper. That one's that one's a little bit yuck. Let's go rust. Yeah, nice. So as you can see, we've got just these massive nodes that we can work with, the massive groups. Um, combine them, do some love. Oh, actually. So here is a free resource by Ambient CG, which is actually a massive material library. So if we could click on explore all, please load. There we go. And we can see that we've got a massive uh, set of textures that we can go into. So these are all image based. So for instance, let's find, I don't know, that one there looks grouse. And then if we come into the 2K JPEG, we download it here in the bottom. And then exactly how we did it in Extreme PBR Combo, um, we used Node Wrangler to set up our materials. Copy, paste, bam, you've got your material set up. Let's go over to the next one. So here we've got a material library from the Polygon IQ guys. This is Material IQ, the full library. If we go summon, we've got categories that we can select from. So glass, uh, frosted, let's go water swimming, okay. Oh, that's spicy. Ooh. 
So for instance, this one here is a like a PBR shader. Let's go check another one. Uh, go away on that one. Summon a material. Let's go select, I don't know, concrete. Mm, this one looks good. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Mm, meow. So I would probably use these ones directly in Blender, obviously, if I'm creating artworks and such, and then I'm not exporting into Omniverse, Unreal Engine, and so on and so forth. Screw you, Unity. Uh, but this is another great massive library that you can work with, which is most important. Schmick. Now there is an Adobe Substance community that you can access to as well and download a whole bunch of um, images, images, materials. There is a video that I've already done this and there's Frank. Frank hasn't been around for a while, but you can download this. There is a video, I'll leave that in the description because it goes into details on how to do it, but that's available. This is the community material pack that Curtis Holt has been compiling um, that people actually have submitted and so we've created a manual free library here that you can download. So for <laughs> um, so we can go through and start selecting stuff. Actually, come on, let's pick that and let's get rid of everything around, delete, go away. Um, in the center here, we've got the aluminum foil. Uh, what else can we pick? Candy surface, oh, that's, that's not bad. Uh, what else we got? We got some cracked tiles. Ooh, interesting. Whatever this is. So there's a whole bunch of random materials that you can get access to. We can change that maybe to a uh, light color like that. That's nice. But this is a free pack of materials that you can utilize as well. Now, last but not least, there is this material that I've set up and I've got video tutorial on how to make it. However, if you want to download it, you can jump on the Patreons. And why did I do that? Let's go back into this kind of mode. Let's go U, cubic projection. I just kind of want to show you what the material looks like. Um, for those of you who have been following on, and if you haven't subscribed, just do it. Um, on the live streams, we kind of built the sci-fi spaceship and we use this material as a base. Um, and this is kind of like a material that I mainly use as well with a whole bunch of controls that we can change as well. So I've given you a bit of a roundup of all the things that you can download. Um, if you want, yes, support the channel, hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment, let me know. And I've been changing hats, did you notice? If not, go back and watch the video. Oh, itchy nose. <laughs> now the next add-on we're going to be looking at is a modular medals by the Curtis <laughs> Holt.